So in this video, we're just going to take a quick look at how to create a voice thread within Latte. And it's pretty simple to do. So when you're in the course, you look for the administrative panel or up over here on the right hand corner and you click on that settings wheel and turn on editing. Once it's complete, you scroll down, you look for the section that you want to add the item to. So I'm just going to choose this particular space and I'm going to add an activity or a resource. Once I'm here, I'm going to scroll down and it should be right here towards the bottom, this little puzzle piece icon called voice thread. I'm going to select it and then right down here, select OK. First thing it's going to do is ask me for, you know, what's the, the, the title. So I'm just going to say, you know, voice thread introductions. Uh, so at this point, there's not much else you need to do if you're going to do a grade. Uh, it already comes with a potential grade if you want, and then you, if you had categories, you'd slip it into the appropriate category. Uh, you can do activity completion, so you might want to adjust, you know, when is this done? Is it done when they view it? Is it done when they receive a grade on it? Um, and you can also restrict access. You may, if you're doing groups or want people to be looking at certain voice, some people looking at one voice thread, other people looking at another, you might play with the restrict access and uh, adjust it to particular groups. We're not really doing any of that, so we don't really have to worry. And so what you want to do is save and display. So once you hit save and display, it actually brings you to this little screen here. Now you've got four different choices. Uh, course view would just show all of your voice threads in the course. You probably don't want to use that. Uh, home view would just be a home view of, if I remember correctly, of, of the voice threads page. Actually, you can click on the little help icon and it will tell you display all voice threads in all courses that a student is enrolled in. So neither of those are usually what you'll use it for. You'll usually use it for individual voice thread or assignment builder. So individual voice thread is one that the instructor creates and students can comment on or potentially add slides to and the like. Assignment builder is more if you want a student or a group of students to build a voice thread as as demonstrating some learning within the course so let's go with individual voice thread and once you're there um, the first thing it's going to say or offer you is the opportunity to drag in previous voice threads so you can certainly bring it in a previous one you just click and the let's see that's a, yep so I can click on it and I can just say share with class um, I can also at this point edit it, fix things up, preview it, make sure it's the right one, um, make a new copy to share, etc. But instead, I'm going to go with create a new voice thread. And then once I'm here, it's just going to give me the option to add the media, right, to build out the voice thread. So when I select that, it gives me different options. It allows me to bring in files from my, from my um, desktop or from my computer. I can find or rely on media sources that they have connections with. So other voice threads, Khan Academy, Flickr, uh, Google Drive, or the New York Public Library. I can bring in resources from all of those. I can do an audio recording right here. I can do a webcam photo or I can do a webcam video. And so if I just wanted to have the camera on me and kind of go through whatever, I could do that here. I could also do a URL. So I'm going to select the, the webcam video, see if this even works. Um, I'll get messages. Do I want to allow it? And so we get that little countdown and now it's recording and so it's recording me as i'm actually narrating this particular uh recording about how to do a uh a, a voice thread so it's getting very meta right now of course but um i can talk i can do whatever and then when i'm done i just hit stop recording and it's gives it a second or two to process and now it's recording so now it's there i can hit save and that it'll give me, do I want to title this? So I'll say, you know, my introduction and save again. And so now that's the first item in the voice thread. I can go on to add other things. So I might add another video. I might add a PowerPoint slide. I might do a variety, you know, all those different things that I can add. Um, but when I'm done at this point, I'm ready to share with class. 
So when I share with class, it says, you know, this is the link I can actually share out directly to students if they just want to go right to the voice thread. Um, Otherwise, I just hit share with class and the voice thread has been complete. Now I'll know it's complete because I can go back into my course or go back into that section, right? And I see it here. And now when I click on this link, it's going to bring me to the actual voice thread itself. See, and now it's showed up. I can click the play button. It's recording, and so it's re I can now, the voice thread is live, so I can go ahead and comment on it, or other students can, of course, by clicking on the little com but comment button and uh, adjusting or pressing any of these. So hopefully that's clear on how to at least get you up and started with a voice thread. Uh, if not, by all means, shoot me some questions and I'll hopefully have answers. Take care.